to this computer and the code live on I lost you, Sarvanji. Right. And also, I, I forgot to remind all of you today. Obviously, the evening there's a class as well from five to half, five to half, uh, half six on Ayurveda as well. We can't so, see. Oh, you can't see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> me, so yeah, I've lost because I, my, I, I pressed the wrong <laughs> button and the whole thing went no. Uh, let me see. Where am I? Where am I? I can't find myself. Now. I'll, I'll mute everybody again. Mm -hmm. to unmute yourself. Okay, let's start. Let's sit in the Gyan Mudra and take a gentle for 30 seconds, nice deep breath, which helps to connect your body and mind together. Because mind is very, it's like a horse running around. Now, for the next hour and a half, you have to calm it down and control it. Just by saying Gyan Mudra, breath is the one of the main vehicle for controlling your mind. Excellent. Now still sitting in Gyan Mudra, roll your shoulder back, head up, eyes closed. We take a deep breath and chant Om for three times. Oh. Oh. Still keeping your eyes closed, take your both hands up in there, rub them together. And cover your face with it. Feel the heat between the palm of your hand. Massage the back of the neck. The arm and the back. Excellent. The reason. Sometimes when I chant Om, I say Ah, Oh, mm. When I'm teaching to the Western people, sometimes they relate Om with religious. So the one of the best way I say to chant them Ah for a certain time, then O, oh, and then Mm, three different vowels. So they don't have any problem with that. That's the reason for uh, sometimes I, I go like, ah. Uh... Today we go back to the basic pranayam. The very first pranayam Swamiji does is the bastika. 
So let's sit, sit in the, before we do it, just expand breath of lung, just by put your hand down, breathe in, and breathe out. Excellent. Next to your both hand there. The daughter go here, close the door. Don't go here. Next, put your heart first and you go up breathing. Just hold on, just coming this, just wait, cut here. I'm just coming in five minutes. I'm just coming in five minutes. They just find him out of the group, yeah. Excellent. Now sitting in Gyan Mudra and the kitchen mudra, roll your tongue back and meditate on the third eye and do Bastrika for three minutes, two and a half seconds to breathe in minimum and two and a half seconds to breathe out. Manish, do you mind just taking over just now? I need to go and pay my window cleaner. He's waiting for me. Sorry. If it's just unmute yourself, I'll just, okay, thanks. Okay, we just carry on with Bastika. Two and a half, two and a half second to breathe out. If you're doing Kiji Mudra, yeah. your breath becomes longer, deeper. The more benefit of Bastrika increases your lung capacity by 30%, give you more oxygenated blood. Excellent. Take your both hands up in there, rub them together. Excellent. Next, we used to do was the warm up exercise. So, like, money, you do all the tools and moving to the exercise. If you don't mind, money, you do that first. Okay. Um, you stretch our legs. <clears throat> Sit in a comfortable position. First of all, you just loosen up your muscles. Your calf muscles. Give it a massage. Inside. Yes, let's give it a rough. Feels good. Let me do this. 
and the other one. There it is. It is. And then we're just going to do a little press up on the knees. So we take a deep breath. Press your knees down and then you lift up, hold it, come down, again, breathe in, hold, down, again, and, down. and relax. <laughs> Next, begin the Going to move the toes now. So do all this exercise for the arthritis, for the gout, cram. So you breathe in and out, moving all your toes. If people who can't move the toes, they can always bring it up and do it this way. That also helps to exercise your toes. It's helped to relieve the also um, swelling on your ankle as well. It's a Prevents gout, building up of your uric acid that goes in the gout if the kidney can't get rid of it. So then the next one is you breathe in and you bring your toes in and you breathe out and you take it back. So it's very important we do this. Breathe in and out. The next, you just going to rotate on your right. Take 10 times. One, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then reverse 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And zero, okay, last. And next, we're going to do five first. This is also very good. <coughs> Moving all of your limb <coughs> and your hips. And relax. <coughs> next, we'll do the leg exercise. So, again, support it with your both hands or this way, whichever you find comfortable. And we're going to breathe in for five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then rotate on right. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Then cycling. One, two, three. Four, five, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Just relax. Do it slowly. People who can't do it, <coughs> hope you sir. Just take your time. If you get tired, just stop and start again. One, two, three, four, and then one, two. Three, four, five. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Cycling. Two, three, four, five. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. <coughs> and relax. Next, we want to bring the right leg over your that right. Oh, sorry, over your left thigh, and then we're going to do a press up. So, <clears throat> with your right hand, take the knee on your right on your right hand, and then bring it up. So, bring it up to your nose if you can. Breathe in, hold, and then you <clears throat> press it down and hold it for a few seconds. Again, the good for your hip and your knee joint and your ankle as well. You did all three in one. Yeah. And then we're going to rotate the ankle. This is a good exercise in your ankle, your foot, your toes, and everything. 
help to reduce the swelling and help you the good circulation of your lymph fluid as well. And then reverse. With a smile. Yeah. Sometimes I do so seriously as well. I try to make a smile on my face. Next, we're going to do the toes <coughs> pressure points. When, you, when we're doing this, we also do it with your fingers same time. So it, it's very good because it's the top, top of your toes is all sinuses. And then the top of your big toe is the brain. So you can do, yeah, <coughs> put a pressure on that one. So that's a, give you a good concentration on your brain. So you have to remember a lot of things. And then in, if you do between your toes, that, the first and the second toes, I think it's your eye. Yeah, that's your eye. And then the last two toes is your ear. So you've got your eye point and your ear point on the top. Then when you come in the middle, is your lungs and your heart, your, your, your chest. And then in the middle is your stomach, all your, your um, digestive system, your kidney. And then the bottom part is your lower part of your body. Okay. And then at the side is your spine. <clears throat> yeah. And then also in the front, you've got your liver point between your big toes and the second toes. And then you have all these pressure points. <clears throat> then you massage it. And then you <clears throat> activate all your organs by you know, giving it. <laughs> and then last one. You just <clears throat> give it a smile or sing. Or laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. And relax. We do the same thing with the other one. So lift up, breathe, and press it down. Breathe down, bring it, breathe again, and down. And you breathe out. Again. Then you can do the same thing, rotate. And reverse. <clears throat> Very good when we do all this, when you're sitting down watching television and all the pressure points. Again, same thing in the middle and the bottom there. At the side, and massage it. It's good if you massage it before you go to bed as well for some oil or cream. It's very good for you. If you've got cold, you got snuffy nose, you can put you can put wicks. You can rub it with the wicks, and that will also help you, you know, with your um, breathing. Then last. <laughs> <laughs> and relax. You can walk with bare feet now because the weather is good. So you can walk bare feet on the grass. It's, it will also improve your spine if you walk backwards as well. You know. So we just do it quickly now. And <clears> to <throat> butterfly, put for your hips, sciatic pain. You know, pumping up the lymph fluid as well. People who are sitting on a chair can do this. Can we do this? <coughs> Let's find it out. Next, we will do nitric oxide. I don't know. I don't know what seven you want to do next. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, no, no. Next, what I want to do is now okay. go back to the old pranam classes I'm trying to do. So you can hear me all right, guy. Okay, yeah. So, the next we used to do the kapal bhati. So first we did the bus free guy to give me the body the energy. Then we did some light warm up exercise to heat the body up. Now we use the energy we have gathered. Use that to exercise all the organs in your body through the 
Kapal Bharati, which is health and safety is very important. Make sure if you have high blood pressure or if you have a monthly cycle, going to a female, then make sure you do not forcefully, one per second, 60 per minute, that will harm you. But if you had a surgery, depending on type of surgery, three to six months, and if you're pregnant, you can't do Kapal Bharati, mm -hmm. just do the bus sticker. So let's first extend the spine, just by putting your hand like this, take your orbit back up, focusing on your spine, the Kapal Bharati for 30 seconds. Now, stretch your leg in the front, shake them up again, and then take your right leg over the left leg, right hand close to your body, that makes your spine straight, and left hand comes up like this, twisting yourself towards the right side, and do Kapal Bharati for 30 seconds. Excellent. Now do the same thing with the opposite leg, the left leg over the right leg, left hand close to your body, right hand comes up, twisting yourself towards the left side, exercising every organs on the right side of the body. I use a lot of mudras in my class. Mudra helps to direct the prana to a certain part of the body. Using the Udan mudra, four fingers touching together, you can put it there, do Kapalvati. To get the maximum benefit, you can put it across there, on the shoulder blade, on the shoulder there, and turning around, breathing Kapalvati for, for one minute. Next, we do the Vayu Mudra, but slight, slight variation. If you want, you can do the Vayu Mudra, but I like you do the Sun Vayu Mudra. Your index, middle finger, both there. You put it there, and the Kapal Bharti, and we, to get the maximum Vayu Dosa and prevention of the illness, you do the...
Excellent. Take a couple of deep breath. Next, we will do some grinding. Put your leg forward again. Shake the leg up. Just shake them. Get the improved circulation. Do the Ling Mudra. That helps to. When you're doing Ling Mudra, not for the blood pressure, you're doing to heat the body up. So that will increase your digestive power. As you go forward, you breathe out. When you go backward, you breathe in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now do the reverse. Excellent. Now take the both leg apart. Just as you lose done them excellently, her leg apart perfectly. You have to take it as far apart as you can, hand and side. Listen to your body. You can touch your toes or you touch your knee, depending if you have back problems, just be careful. One, two, three, four, five. And relax, excellent. Next, we're going to do the Dusya Makhanika Laha. Whichever leg goes forward, opposite hand goes forward. So when I'm doing for the special society, they can't sit for too long. Usually we do Kapal Bharti Mudra for five minutes. So today we're only doing one minute each. Next we go on to Vidanda Udan, Vidanda Vayu. Next we do Pran Mudra, your little finger and the ring finger. That increases prana in your body, which is stored at your belly button. Also helps you increase immunity and very good for eyesight for last next one minute. Take a couple of deep breaths. The energy we have gathered, you touch to a palm mudra, your middle and the ring finger touching together. You can do it there to get the maximum benefit put across there and turning right and doing kapalvati for the next one minute.
Excellent. Next, we do Mandukasana. So, if you can, I like my knees as well. Sit in the Bajrasan or sit in Sukhasan, Padmasan, or even in the on the chair the way I'm sitting. Make a tight face, take a deep breath in, breathe out completely, <laughs> and put the both face next to the belly button just below that, and come down and look up and do Kapalvati for 30 seconds. Excellent. Come back up, breathing in there. Because your digestive system is controlled by your pancreas, your liver, and its blend. You do that one more for pancreas, take a deep breath again. Look up. Excellent. Come back up, breathing in and out. Next is your liver and your spleen. Make a tight face again. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out completely. Put the hand either side of the stomach and you go down. Look up and do Kapalvati. And gently come back up, breathing in and out. Excellent. This exercise, what we have done for pancreas, liver, and spleen, if you have any kind of health issue, yeah, you should do that half an hour before the meal time. That itself will improve your digestive system, help to digest the food better, and prevention of any kind of gastric problem, any, any kind of in the stomach will go away. And also liver will produce more bile to digest the food. So food will, food will digest quicker. Pancreas will produce enough insulin to balance the sugar level. And the spleen will produce enough white blood cell and red blood cell. To, you don't, don't become anemic. And also your immune system will go up. Your B and T cell will, it will improve and able to fight infection, remove dead cells from your body and remove toxin from your body. But all these play an important part in promoting good health. So it's, you can do it longer as well. I've done it today only for 30 seconds. If you have certain problems, you have liver, 40 liver, then you do it for one minute, five minutes, depending on yourself. If you do three times a day in short interval, nothing, nothing wrong with that. You can take your pick on yourself. Very important. So we've done that. So next we go back to the half moon. And first with the child pose, you breathe in and you go up. And you go down, you breathe out. Stretch as far forward as you can from your hip and go back up. Excellent. Next, to counteract the child pose, you have to do the half moon shape. Put your hand like this and bend backward, make, making a bending your body like a half moon shape. Breathing in and breathe out. Once more. Next is the camel pose, which is very good. Your neck extends further than your body, so your hands either side of the heel on the body after sitting, and then extend your neck back up.
Excellent. And catches up with us very quickly. It's probably still taking a bit longer than I thought. Next, we're going to do the, we used to do a swim mudra, ring finger, piece of thumb to lose weight and energize your liver, lower your cholesterol. But I like to do it a nastic, a cuff nastic dosa, which is the little finger and the ring finger, piece of the thumb. Put it there. That's able to increase pita and reduce kapha, which is very important for weight loss and improving your liver function as well. But twisting it makes it better. <laughs> We're exercising your liver and it's been as well. Excellent. Last but not the least, people with low blood pressure do the Ling Mudra. And people with high blood pressure, Apan Vayu Mudra. Vayu Mudra and Apan Mudra put together. So let's do that for the last 30 seconds. Excellent. They are both tied up in there, all them together. Kapal Bharti is Sanjeevni. Person who does Kapal Bharti for so many times, no mename bacha pada hota hai. If no mename, if you do enough Kapal Bharti, every cell in your body will regenerate. Doesn't matter what illness you have, it will all go away. The cells are dying, new cells are being born. If you give them enough oxygen supply, enough amino acid, all the things it needs to regenerate, it won't become a carbon copy of old cell. That's what genetic illness is. Just your cells are dying, new cells are being born, the new cells are exactly carbon copy of the old cell. But if you give them enough energy, enough vitality, it becomes independent, healthy cell. So all your symptoms goes away, even genetically. Your mother, your father, if your mom had a breast cancer, you won't get it just by doing that. But Kapal you have to do it for at least half an hour, morning, evening, for nine months. I can guarantee every single cell in your body will regenerate healthier than before. And any, nothing, no symptom can go away. Every symptom, even arthritis, rheumatism arthritis, high blood pressure. But high blood pressure, you have to do with the empty stomach, make sure. Not, but not too much pressure, nice and gentle. Swami, you were paralyzed on one side when he's young. But the guru told him to do Kapal Bharti, but he went on doing for hours. And suddenly he found his stroke started getting better and better. And that's how he learned the science of yoga. And he connected and now he's teaching he's, what he benefited. He's teaching millions of people throughout the world and promoting health. So really Kapal Bharti is like a Sanjuni. That's the way I look at that. I focus more on that. At least I do half an hour every day. I try to do it. Not now, but before I used to do half an hour every day. All my symptoms went away. Before I had a lot of different issues, but nothing, you know, you still have got some illness there because it, it just catches up with you, but delays the whole process. Very important. So yoga eh, makes you makes you feel better. More all your organs start working better because you when you cut your hands, feet off, every single organ in your body is exercising. So all the toxins are eradicated and help promote there. And I think I'll put my wani ko sand karte hai. And I'll give give it to Mani now to, because I've taken more time than I was supposed to. I'm sorry about that. And some, something it kind of away, you know, it's just uh, so much things in my head to tell you. It's just uh, and thank you very much, Mani. You can take over now. You, you do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to see. Oh. Uh, kapal Bharti, sir, weight loss nahi hota? What is, what the main thing is, what is Kapal Bharti? Se, 
How do you lose weight by Kapalvati? Not just exercising all the organs. You exercise your thyroid gland. And thyroid gland, when you do that, <coughs> when air passes through your thyroid, it activates the thyroid gland. This is your thyroid balance, which increases your metabolism. And that's how you lose weight. So treatment is cancer? Yes, you can do it. Cancer is Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sravanji. Thank you. But depending on... Depending if you didn't have any surgery, depending if it's something if, if, like a certain prolapse, certain certain surgery if, during the cancer process, then obviously you can't no surgery, it. no treatment. No, drug. then you can do you can do you can do half an hour morning and evening. You have to do it. Oh, thank you, Ranji. Thank, thank you. you. Sorry, thank so, you. So, no problem. Thank you very much. Come everybody, we'll do some uh, nitric oxide exercise. Everybody knows now what nitric oxide is. So we're going to open up our nasal passage where the nitric oxide is stored and then <clears throat> make sure that it goes down into the, our respiratory system. So first we will do humming. <clears throat> we'll do humming for five times. So if you close your ears and then put a, uh, your tongue against it, bite your teeth and put the tongue against your teeth. And we do humming for five times. last time. Mm. <clears throat> and relax. This helps to produce nitric oxide. That's um, to keep our blood vessels healthy. And it um, opens up your blood vessels and the blood can flow easily. And it give you good oxygenation as well. So next we're going to stand up and do some exercise. We will do oh, uh, 20 times, three, four exercise, but only once. And then we do some jogging, jogging, and we do some we do Surya Namaskar, and then we do some back exercise, uh, and some asans. So please, if anybody's got any um, illness or um, you can't do physical exercise, just do what you can. And if you feel tired, you just stop. So just look after yourself. We don't have to. <coughs> also, add in the uh, add in the yogi yogi as well, if you don't mind. Yeah, so I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, you said that. I didn't. I didn't forget. I didn't catch. Sorry, <laughs> my fault. <laughs> so if you all stand up, and then when you ready, we'll start nitric oxide. So there are four movements. So <clears throat> first, we'll start with sitting. So you you every time you do, it, you breathe in and out. <clears throat> Next is the dead man four. Deep breath. If you're tired, breathe through your nose and blow up. Next, we will do the star jump. <clears throat> Next, we're going to 
going to lift up the white. So, page four. And relax. <coughs> Check the hand. Take a deep breath. This exercise that we done for nitric oxide, it, it helps to uh, circulate your blood and oxygen around your body from top to bottom. And also it feeds your muscles as well. So give you a good lung capacity. Now we're going to do jogging, jogging. So <coughs> just take a deep breath in and out. And <coughs> just do. <coughs> Whatever you can. Even people sitting in a chair, do a little bit. Yes. Jump. Or oh, just stand there and do it. It was difficult for me to do it in the chair, <laughs> but I mastered it. Next. And on there. And do this. People find it easier to do this. And then we do the opposite leg and opposite arm. Your fist. Next, clapping. Also stimulating, activating your organ in your hand. And relax. Deep breath. Now we're going to do squat. So do this. Relax. Next we'll use the knee. Put a hand on your knees. Rotate five times. Begin it out. Three, four, five. Reverse. Three, four, and five. Break apart. <coughs> we do clockwise to bring your knees in. Out. One, two, three, four, and five. Then reverse. Leg out. Then bring it in. One, two, Three, four, and five. Next, leg apart. Take a deep breath and bend your right leg. Come down. Bend in and go other side. Breathe in and out. And relax. Next, legs to the part a little bit. We do three times. Hand on your knees. Left legs straight. You breathe in. Uh, deep breath and look up. Then you breathe out. Go on the other side. <coughs> and out on the right. <coughs> Left. Next one, hand on your hip, on your sort of wrist. <coughs> Next, raise your hand and then do the same thing, three, hold, breathe out, left, breathe out, right, left, last time, and 
and relax. Next, we will do open up the chest. So be careful bending forward and backwards. So breathe in and then breathe out. Last one, and relax. Next, take a deep breath if you're tired. Otherwise, we carry on. Right hand up. Then you go on one side. Touch your knee, or you can go right down. If you can't do this, you can always do this. You can go just Then you do opposite. Do faster or you do slow. Whatever you manage, you don't have to do like me. And relax. Next, we're going to touch the opposite toes. Here again, be careful, bending down. And touch knee if you can't go right down. And looking up, if you feel dizzy, you just stop. So breathe in, go opposite and look back. Last time, and relax. Next one is bending forward and going backward. Again, if you've got honey, don't go backwards. So take a deep breath, go up, come down. Do 10 times or eight times, whichever. Right. Breathe in and out, breathe in, and then breathe out. <clears throat> Relax. All right. Next, we're going to do the star jump. The slow one. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, three. Now we do with the jump. One, two, three. One, two. Three. One, two, three. <coughs> and relax. And do a faster one, 10 times. People who want to do it. And relax. Next, Let's take a deep breath, if you're tired. Take Tadasa. So interlock your fingers. Then bring it up, turn your hands, go up. As you go up, sorry, put on your head. <laughs> and then you go up, just on your toes. And come down, it's good breathing. It's good for your digestive system, as well as your spine, your height. Again, just hold it here. Take longer if you can. And then let it slightly apart. Then up, and then down. Out, right, out, left. Yeah. And relax. Hand in the front, breathe in, and then breathe out. And in the front, and go left, five times. <coughs> Last time. Do it three times. Right hand on your left shoulder, left hand behind, breathe, go back, hold, breathe out, opposite. And 
and relax. Next, hand on your head. Can we do? Jala be down. Then try. Reverse. That's fine. Last one. Now it's a twist. So the hand goes opposite and your feet goes opposite. You're breathing in up. And you're not. <coughs> okay, so just do back here. <coughs> Look at deep breath so in and out. We'll do so in Namaskar. I'll do it twice. We we'll do some back exercise. Let's take a deep breath. Manda, are you ready? We'll do end of the mat. See me over. Right. Oh. You're signing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Unmute yourself. I don't know who is, who's got the sound on. Uh. I need you, you need to unmute yourself. I've done the wrong one. Oh, okay. Um. Sorry. <clears throat> Somebody, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Man and position. <clears throat> Breathe in. Then bend forward, take your, uh, raise your hands, bend backward, breathe out, hand on your sides of your feet, breathe in, take the right leg back, look up, breathe out, take the left leg back in a mountain position. Number five, this is number five, and number six, is your knees down, chin down, face the chin down. Then breathe again, go into a uh, uh, cobra position. Then breathe out to mountain position. Number nine, bring your right leg forward. Number 10, left leg forward. Breathe and come up. Raise your hand back in number 11, number 12. Now, good numbers. One, two, three, left leg back, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, we do one more set with the right leg first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And relax. We're just going to take a deep breath first and take a do a non below. Just for three minutes. And then we do some asses. And then I'll do it until about quarter past, and then then as I can do the meditation. So we sit in the Surya Vayu Mudra, or you can sit in a Gain Mudra. And then on your uh, on your hip, uh, on your knees, and then do the Khichri Mudra, and concentrate on your third eye. And we're going to breathe from the right nostril, press your, close your right nostril, breathe through your left nostril, and then you close the left nostril with the other fingers, and then breathe out from the right nostril. And we then then you breathe again with the same nostril, and then alter it, and then you carry on. So everybody knows what to do by now. So all along we long is two and a half seconds to breathe in and two and a half seconds to breathe down.
also give you similar benefits as Plastica. This will help you to unblock your arteries. Also improves your any heart problems if you have. Your lung capacity. Improves your oxygen levels, so improves your blood pressure as well. Lowers your blood pressure. You'll be good brain functions because you take a lot of pure oxygen. Improve your immunity, fight infection, and help with allergy. Also could make you good look as well. Your face become glorious. Can be done anytime. Should do it more than five minutes. It will benefit you more for any illness, disease, fresh air. Just relax, just rub your hands. Do more in your own time. When you're ready, we lie on our stomach. I'm going to do some Bakatasan first. So put your hand on your chin. Oh, so chin on your hand, sorry, all the way around. And you breathe in and take your one leg at a time. Bring it up to bend your legs. Now, both legs together and out. Relax. We will do one time. So, if you hold your ankle, people who can do it, don't pressurize yourself. You hold the ankle. It's good for your digestive system and your constipation as well. So breathe in and look out and hold it for a few seconds. And relax. <coughs> Next, we do the Ujasa. So you put your right hand, put your both hands at the side, shoulder, and you breathe in and you come up to cobra. Look out. You don't have to have extend your hand, you can just skip it. Is that leg and then come down again? Breathe in, breathe out, and breathe out. Next, you're going to look back. So, you just start for Aslan, and you this time you extend your hand. So, you breathe in, you come up on your hand, you hold your hands are straight, and then you look right and try to look at the left. Feel and you breathe out. Look up and you go on the left. Come down. You do one more time. Breathe in. Right. Down. Again. And back. both hands together. Going to. When you're good at it, so just breathe in, come up, and extend your hand, uh, both hands, look up, come down. One more time. And down. Next, we go to saliva. First, put your both hands underneath your thigh. You breathe in, bring the right leg up, down, the left. Right, left, 
both together and look up and relax. Next, put your right hand forward, left hand on your back, you just look on that pose, and then you breathe in, bring the right hand up and the left leg and come down again. Again. So over, right hand at the back, left hand in the front, right leg up. Last time. Now both hands together at the back, opposite of no castle we're going to do. So breathe in, your leg, both legs up, and your head up. Hold it. And the last. Now, I'm just going to put your hand on and rest for two seconds. Now, whenever you're ready, you turn on your back. You're going to do Makatasan. Hand beside you, attach it to your shoulder. Bend your both knees. When you breathe in, take the legs on your right and the head on the left. Come back to center. Let's do it a couple of times. Right, center, left. Okay. Then leg apart slightly. Then do the same thing but touching your heel with your left knee. Breathe out, center. And right. And left. And that. Next, we just do one time. Bring the both legs straight. Bring the right leg in the front uh, on, <clears throat> and then go on the left side. Try to touch it with your other hand if you can, with your left hand and your head on the right. If you can't, just put it at the side. Breathe out, bring your back in the front slowly. Left leg up. Go on your left. Breathe out and relax. You want to type Nokasa. So you breathe in, hands in the front, and lift your legs up and lift yourself up like a boat. Just hold it for a few seconds and relax. You can do Pavan Nokasa. So bring your right leg, bend your right leg, interlock your fingers, hold it, come up if you can. Make sure if you've got neck pain or front one leg, you don't do it. So touch your knee, breathe out. Do left leg, right, left. I do it with the both legs, bend your both legs, come in the front if you can, then walk backwards and forwards to release all the air. Or do the sideways and relax. <coughs> So do the five times leg exercise. So put your support your back, put your hands underneath, and then lift the right leg up and circle it clockwise. Oh, sorry, I mean to do up and down. One, two, three, four. Five. Now circle with your right leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. <coughs> Relax. Do the other leg. Left, right. One, two, three, four, and five. Reverse. Five, four. 
to not to uh, bend your both knees, legs, and then we do cycling. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. Just, just relax for just for a few seconds because the Nipa is going to do meditation. Just take a deep breath. We'll do some more asans next time. Move your hands together. And then you turn on one side. Bend your knees and support of your hand. You come up. And relax. <laughs> we'll just do Ujjayi and Brahmi and then, then finish back and carry on. So we do Ujjayi. So we're going to cough, clear your throat. <coughs> we do, we're going to make three short breaths and then long one. Then you put your chin down. Hold it and then you put your, uh, close your right nostril and breathe out. So we do that. <coughs> breathe out. One more. <coughs> Next, we do Brahmi. We've got hand which close your ears with your thumb, three fingers on your eye, and your index finger on the forehead is about the eyebrow. And take a deep breath and make a bumblebee sound three times. Your eyes closed and just do all for three times. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. And if uh, Dennis might want to take over from here, is that okay? Sarvanji? Thank you, Maniji. Thank you. Yeah, I can't highlight you because I don't know if Sarvanji is. I don't think he made me go, has Let's have a look. <coughs> oh, yeah, he has. Sorry. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Um, let me just find you. Um, that's right. <coughs> Didn't realize you made me pause. <laughs> Home, everyone. Home. Just, uh, I hope you can hear me. Is it? Uh... Nice and clear. Yeah, we can hear you all right. Yeah. Hear me? Okay. 
Okay, now uh, today we will do an uh, internal trip, Antar Yatra. Uh, so, what is internal trip? Uh, we do external trips every day, all the time we are doing external trip, going on holiday, this trip, that everything is external. But today we are going to do internal trip is going inside you, internal trip, Antar Yatra. Okay, so first of all, I'll just uh, tell you what we are going to do and then we will start. So just uh, select a comfortable posture, uh, Sukhasan, Vajrasan, any comfortable posture, sitting on a chair, hands in Grand Mudra, neck and back straight, head straight. And then we will start with the humming sound five times. And then we will do a short relaxation. And then we will do the internal trip, Antar Yatra. Okay, so everybody is comfortable. Close your eyes softly. Just breathe in first, take a long deep breath in. and breathe out completely. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out completely. Close your eyes softly, keep your eyes closed throughout until I tell you to open them. Okay, now we will start with the humming sound, Mahapran Dhauni. We will do it uh, five times. Okay, so what you have to do is you breathe in through the nose. When you breathe out, you make a humming sound like a bee through the nose again. Keep your mouth closed. Okay, so we'll start now. Breathe in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in your head. We do Mahapranadamni to ground ourselves, to prepare us for meditation. Now we will do a short relaxation. Ayotsar. Okay, now focus your mind on your big toes and spread your mind from the toes throughout the body, up to the top of the head. From toes, up to the top of the head, each and every muscle, nerve, tissue, and cell is being relaxed. Relax. 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 Give up your body. From toes up to the top of the head, the body is relaxing. You notice that your breath has become quiet and calm.
experience complete peace of mind. Experience the inner silence. Your mind and body can become free from all kinds of stress and tension. Total relaxation with self-awareness. The whole body is completely relaxed. Relax. 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 Don't think about anything else. If your mind wanders, bring it back. Your breath is quiet and calm. Body is totally relaxed. Now we'll come to the internal trip. Now focus your mind on the bottom of your spine, which is the center of energy. Now what we have to do is take that vital energy from the bottom of the spine, through the spinal cord, up to the top of the head, which is center of knowledge. So focus your mind fully on your spinal cord. So we are going to do the internal trip from the bottom of the spine, through the spinal cord to the top of the head, which is the center of the knowledge. And then we come down empty handed from the top of the head, center of knowledge, through the spinal cord, to the bottom of the spine, which is the center of energy. So what we are going to do is move up and down inside the spinal cord. So your conscious mind will be moving up and down inside the spinal cord. Now we will link our internal trip with our breathing. When you breathe in, you go down, take a downward trip from the top of the head, center of the knowledge, through the spinal cord, to the bottom of the spine, center of energy. And when you breathe out, you take an upward trip from the bottom of the spine, center of energy, to the top of the head, center of knowledge, taking the vital energy up through the spinal cord to the top of the head. And when you breathe in, you go down empty handed, take a downward trip. And when you breathe out, you take an upward trip from the bottom of the spine to the top of the head. So your conscious mind is moving up and down inside the spinal cord. Breathe in, take a downward trip. As you breathe out, take an upward trip. Continue the journey. Internal trip, Antar Yatra. 
Now, what we are trying to do by doing this is we are trying to awaken all the chakras. We are trying to awaken all the chakras. All our seven chakras are located in our spine. So breathe in, take a downward trip from the top of the head, to the center of energy, bottom of the spine. Then you breathe out, take an upward trip from the bottom of the spine to the top of the head. Taking the vital energy up, you may feel slight warmth in your spinal cord. If you feel the warmth, that means the energy is going up. The vital energy is going up. Try to feel the subtle vibrations taking place inside your spinal cord. Try to experience everything that's taking place in your spinal cord. And just continue. Just do five more rounds. Coming down and going up is one round. If there are any blockages in your spinal cord, then the energy will not be able to go up. So what we are trying to do is unblock all the blockages in your spinal cord. Once they are unblocked, the energy, vital energy will move freely from the bottom of the spine to the top of the head. And we open up all of the chakras. Keep your focus fully on your spinal cord. With practice, you should be able to feel the flow of vital energy going up. Well, all, all the time we are doing external trips. Now we are doing internal trip. Okay, we'll do one last round. Breathe in. Go down, take a downward trip from the top of the head through the spinal cord up to the bottom of the spine. When you breathe out, take an upward trip, taking the vital energy up from the bottom of the spine, center of energy through the spinal cord up to the top of the head, center of knowledge. Okay, now we will conclude with just uh, one humming sound. Breathe in. Mm. Keeping, keeping your eyes closed. 
Rub your hands, take your hands up. Rub them. When they are nice and warm, place them over the eyes. Feel the warmth. Massage your eyebrows, massage your eyes. Now open up your eyes slowly. Open. And on. Thank you very much. That was lovely. And that was excellent with uh, Dinesh Ji also. That was in my as well. Thank you very much for all the support. Hope mm -hmm. you all enjoyed it. Before we finish the class, just to remind you tonight, it's, um, it's, it's all about Ayurveda, how the Ayurveda can help you about five elements, fire, air, space, earth, and water. That's how your why you pita and kapha, the energy source in the body is built, catabolism, anabolism, and metabolism. These are the three things happening in the body all the time. Cells are dying, new cells are being born, and digestive process. This all has, if they don't happen properly, it creates illness. So we'll talk about that. And also we talk about certain food, which is in your kitchen, which is Ayurvedic medicine. And also how to prevent lung cancer, and how to prevent cancer in general, which food to eat. So we'll talk a lot, a lot of good information will come on. If you're interested in it, please join in and, and take the benefit from it. Arvida is a, I'm not already a doctor, but Swamiji taught me through yoga, a lot of uh, Nachaji, a lot of Ayurvedic things. I used to be the main supplier for all the Ayurvedic supplements for UK and, international, and Europe. So I have some knowledge of it, but I'm not the expert. At the same time, I'll give you the information in general terms, which me and you can understand and bring some of the benefit to your life uh, in, your, in your daily routine and, and promote health. Can we do the prayer? Yes, just you. That's what we did to say. Thank you. Maybe oh. you, spoke, you spoke my mind. <laughs> okay. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukena. Sarve Santu Niramaha, Sarve Bandrani Prashantu, Mahakashi Dukha Pappave, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. May all be happy, may all be healthy, may all enjoy prosperity, may none suffer. Om. <coughs> Jusin Hassan. Henna. <coughs> Take a deep breath and pull your tongue out. <laughs> you managed to go longer than before. My must be a tongue exercise you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I made you all laugh a bit. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Let me just stop.